Alrighty, I think we can get started. Lovely. This is Pilates. Yes, it's going to be a good class. Got some fun little movement challenges for us. I've stopped calling it exercise. I'm like, I'm just going to do a little movement challenge. Because <laughs> for some reason in my head, that makes it sound better. So <laughs> it's not a workout. I'm not going to work out like as if it's, you know, work. <laughs> it's a movement challenge. So we've got some movement challenges for you today. And by we, I mean me. Um, <laughs> But we're going to start with a nice little warm-up uh, just to get the body flowing, and then we'll head into these movement challenges. Um, you'll need a mat or some kind of thing to be on. <laughs> I, I say soft, so like if you, ha if you don't have a mat and you're on hard floor, I would suggest getting like a towel or a little blanket or something just to put under your knees and your hands. Um, but, you know, you do whatever you do, guys. It's fine. Okay. So, hands right underneath those shoulders, knees underneath those hips, and let's just go into a few little cat cows. I've been really digging the cat cows this week. Um, for some reason, who knows? And if you need to shift forward or shift back or shift side to side in each cat and each cow, go for it. I give you permission to do what you need to do for your body to feel good. That's half my job, by the way, is just giving people permission to try things. <laughs> I don't think I'm strong enough to do that. Well, you know, try it. I don't think I'm flexible enough to do that. Stable, good, thin, big, I, it doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever thing is in your way, you know, just try it. It's fine. Side to side. Just warming up that spine, warming up that head. I don't do this often, but we're going to do, find that neutral spine, and we're just going to drop that head and then a little head circle. We usually do this standing, but I like to do it in your quadruped position because when you get to the top, you feel what the actual extension feels like, because I feel like when we stand, some of us just tend to crunch our head back, but here you can't do that. You're working against gravity, so you feel that extension with the chin. Go the other way. And that is what that extension should feel like, even when you're standing. And around. And around. Good. And then reset yourself in case you got a little bit off <laughs> doing all of that. So here we're going to take a big inhale and then exhale. Reach one arm forward and the opposite leg back. And then bring it down. Other side. Exhale. Reach. And bring it back down. Inhale, exhale, reach, and bring it back down, and reach, inhale, down. Now, I'm going to fold my mat because I've been on my hands <laughs> today in my own workout and in my other class, so I need a little bit more cushion, so do, do so if you need to. We're going to reach that first side out. And then we're going to stay on this side for a little bit. So inhale here. Exhale, bring that elbow to meet that knee right underneath of you. And then inhale back out. Exhale, elbow, knee. Inhale out. Exhale, elbow, knee. Nice and slow and controlled. Inhale out. Elbow, knee. And inhale out. Four more. Four. Three, and two, and one. Reach it out, lower down. Other side. Reach it out. Inhale here, 
and exhale, elbow knee. And reach it out. Elbow knee. Reach it out. Elbow knee. Reach it out. And elbow knee. Reach it out. Four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Reach it out and lower it down. Now, go back to your first side. Reach it out. Now, instead of going underneath of you, you're going to pull out to the side. So inhale here and exhale. Reach to the side and pull it out. Reach to the side and pull. Reach side. Pull it out. Reach it side. Pull it up. Four more. Pull it in. Reach it out. Pull it in. And reach it out. Pull it in. Reach it out. Last one. Pull it in. And reach it out. Now, put that elbow down. We've done this position before. So you're... Your uh, arm that you just had up is perpendicular to your leg. You're going to open your hips and point those toes. This is the only, I know I usually have your hips closed, but this time you can open those hips a little bit if you need to. So tap the floor and lift that leg. Tap and lift. 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 Five. And six. And seven. And eight, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stay, flex that foot, pull that heel to your butt all the way, and then extend it back out. Pull your heel, try to touch your butt, and extend back out. If you have big hamstrings like me, you might not touch your butt, <laughs> but that's okay. You're still getting that hamstring squeeze as if you can. <laughs> four. And three, and two, and one, squeeze, hold it out. Now point that toe, make little circles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other way, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now if you can, Find that bird dog position again. Inhale here and exhale. Lift and close those hips and bring it back down. Lovely, guys. Slash, I can't see you, but I'm assuming it was lovely. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> All right, second side. So reach that arm and opposite leg out. Inhale here. And exhale, pull into the side. Inhale out, exhale, pull. Inhale out, and exhale, pull. Inhale out, and exhale, pull. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Extend it out, lay that elbow down, and open that leg. Keep those toes pointed, tap the mat, and lift the leg. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulse it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Flex that foot, pull that heel all the way to your glute, and stretch it back out. Pull your heel to your glute, and stretch it back out. Now, it's not just the shape, right? I can get to that shape without really engaging my hamstring. Here, I'm trying to squeeze my hamstring to get that engagement. Three, 
and two, and one. Point those toes, little circles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, inhale here, exhale, push the floor, close those hips, and come back down. Take a second, child's pose. Oops. Lovely, we should be nice and warm. Come on up to your knees. Now again, especially because I'm on a really hard deck. <laughs> um, so if you have a hard floor underneath your mat, you might need to roll your mat um, a little bit for this next part because we're gonna be on our knee again. Or if you have like a little towel or a pillow that you wanna put under your knee, that's totally fine too. This other leg is gonna be out stretched nice and long. So hands behind those heads and we're gonna sit back into our hips and squeeze our glutes forward. So this is essentially a good morning deadlift, the hip hinge of your squat, right? I'm sitting back as far as I can. Don't worry if you're not going all the way down, doesn't matter. And then I'm squeezing that glute forward. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Great. Open those arms out to the side. Keep a little bend. If you, especially if you're hypermobile in those elbows, keep a little bend in those in those elbows. Inhale here, exhale, tilt. Try to tap the floor and then come back up. Not putting any weight on that fingertip, just lightly tapping the floor. Slow and controlled, and you have to reach away from yourself, right? Not crunching down, but try to tap the floor as far away from yourself as you can. Four more, just like that. Four. And three, and two, and one. Just like that, and then we're gonna add a reach. So we go tap, and then we reach to the other way. Tap, and reach. So we're reaching towards our toes. Tap, and reach. Really getting in those obliques, guys. Tap and reach four more four three and two even though shoulders are getting some work because we're holding those arms out and one challenge time guys here we go so we're gonna find that tap find the floor just a little bit of of weight if you have to put more weight down do so but try to maintain that Inhale, lower that top arm. Exhale, lift. Inhale, close. And exhale, lift. Inhale, close. And exhale, lift. Inhale, close. And exhale, lift. Four more. Four. Three. Those obliques. Two. And one, come up, woohoo, jeez. Okay, so we're not done yet. <laughs> so, inhale here, exhale, tilt, lift that leg, drop that leg, pull back up. Tilt, lift that leg, land the leg, pull back up. If you have to put weight on your hand, totally fine but if you can try to use those obliques to do this work four more four oh i feel it all three and 
One, two, and one. Lift, down, be done. Ooh, okay. Oh, those obliques. Ah! Okay, switch sides. Is that right? Yeah, that was right. Okay. <laughs> Just had to make sure. Fold that corner over. Lovely. I'm gonna come a little bit more in. There we go. So, oh, we've got a whole other side to work, guys. <laughs> okay, so, reach those arms out. Inhale here and exhale. Tilt and lift. Tilt and lift. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Starts off all nice and easy. Four more. <laughs> or easy ish. <laughs> then we get a little crazy into our challenges. <laughs> Three. Is this like the time I tried to convince you guys that a plank was like a hug? Kinda. <laughs> and one. Add that opposite reach. So we tilt and reach. We tilt and reach. We tilt and reach. And we tilt and reach. Four more. Four. Three. And two. And one. Add the rotation. This is the challenging one. So we tilt, inhale, close, and exhale, open. Inhale, close. And exhale open. Inhale close. And exhale open. Inhale close. Exhale open. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come up. Add the leg lift. So, we tilt, lift, down, over. Tilt, lift, down, over. Tilt, lift, down, over. For some reason, this side is a lot easier for me. I was struggling on the first side. Four more. Did I miss something? Nope. One side is just different. <laughs> and three. And two. And one. Lift up. up. <sighs> wow, zers. Okay, so find your hands underneath those shoulders. Tuck those toes under. Push back into your downward facing dog and just walk those heels out a little bit. Maybe stretch those hips out. And then walk those hands back to your feet and roll up to find a standing position. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna continue with this theme here as we do. So you're gonna find a nice, big plie stance whoa and then you're going to turn your heels out so your toes are pointing forward but you're as wide as you would be in your plie or your like second squat right so we're going to start kind of like we did on the mat hands behind your head inhale here sit into those hips and exhale lift it's just, this is the exact same motion, only now we're standing, right? Before we cut off the bottom of our leg, essentially, but it's still a hip hinge and a reach. 
four more. Four. And three. And two. And one. Kind of cool how that happens. So now turn your heels in and shift over onto that leg that we were just working. So your your foot is, or your leg is turned out and you're sitting into that heel, right? So there's a slight bend in my standing leg. I'm gonna reach my arm high overhead and my other leg out, and then I'm gonna pull in elbow to knee and reach back out. Elbow knee and reach back out. Elbow knee and out. Elbow knee and out. Four more. Four and three and two and one. Now keep that arm and leg straight. Reach it straight out inside. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. Lift and tap, lift and tap. Four and three and two and one. Now, tap the toe right behind your heel. So my, the ball of my foot, my heel is lifted in the back, but the ball of my foot is in line with my front heel. I'm still in that turned out position right? So my knees are going over the same lane as my toes and I'm sitting into this position. So we're going to plie and stretch or sit and stretch. Tuck that pelvis. If you got a little extended in that spine or just think tighten that seatbelt and lift. Two more plie and lift. These are more traditional bar Pilates curtsy squats or curtsy lunges. Sorry. Now we're going to plie and we're going to come up to our balance. Plie and balance. Tap that knee with the toe. Tap the front of the knee with the toe. Four. Whoa. Three, it's all about those hips moving together. Two, one, add a pulse. Pulse, pulse, and lift. Pulse, pulse, and lift. Let's bring those arms up. Pulse, pulse, and lift. Pulse, pulse, and lift. Add an extension. Pulse, pulse, and lift. Extend, tap, down. Pulse, pulse, lift, extend, tap, down, pulse, pulse, lift, extend, tap, down, last one, lift, extend, tap, down. Find that wide stance and you're still in your turnout. Bring those arms second. We're going to plie and stretch. Plie and stretch. Plie and stretch plie and stretch. Bring that arm overhead, elbow knee and stretch. Elbow knee and stretch. Elbow knee and stretch. Elbow knee and stretch. Come back to that wide stance, turn those heels out. Second side guys, second side. So now your toes are pointing forward but you're in that wide stance. Hands behind your head, sit into that heel and squeeze that glute forward. Hips go back, hips come forward. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Lovely. So turn those heels out, shift your weight over, bend that standing leg, arm up overhead, 
Inhale here, exhale, knee to elbow, and stretch. And in, and stretch. Knee to elbow, and stretch. And in, and stretch. Four more. Four. And three. And two. Ooh, and one. Str straight arm, straight leg. Lift. Tap. Two. And three. And four. Four more. Five. And six. And seven. And eight. Lovely. Uh, all right. All right. So turn that leg out. Bring it behind your front leg. Bend those knees. Sit and lift. Sit. Squeeze those inner thighs to lift. Let's bring those arms out. Sit and lift. Four more. Four. And three. Just sweat my eye. And two. And one. Sit. Find that knee. Sit. Toe to knee. Sit. Toe to knee. And sit. Toe to knee. Add a pulse. 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 Lift. Pulse. Pulse. Lift. Pulse. Pulse. Lift. Pulse. Pulse. And lift. Find the extension. Pulse. Pulse. Lift. Extend. In. Down. Pulse. Pulse. Lift. Extend. In. Down. Pulse. Pulse. Lift. Extend. In, down, pulse, pulse, in, whoa, extend, in, down. Woo, guys. I lost a little bit there on the end one. That happens. It happens. Find that wide stance. Bring those arms out. Sit into those hips and lift. Sit and lift. Sit and lift, sit, reach that arm up, elbow knee, and reach, elbow knee, and reach, elbow knee, and reach, elbow knee, and reach, and rest, lovely, okay, get a quick sip of water if you need it, Timing. Find the back end of your mat. Fold forward. Bend those knees as much as you need to to find your mat and walk out into that plank. Now, cross one leg in front of the other and twist your hips toward that side. So my left is in front of my right and I'm twisting my hips towards my right. So I'm gonna inhale, push my hips back, square them off to the mat. Exhale, twist those hips to the right. Inhale back and exhale, twist. Inhale back and exhale, twist. This is our corkscrew plank. Inhale back and exhale, twist. Inhale into that downward facing dog, untwist those legs. Only four of those crazy little things. Exhale, round forward into your plank and then draw that right knee in and put it back. Left knee in, put it back. Knee and back. Knee and back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knees wide, child's pose, sit back onto those hips. I 
I never know which way you guys are facing or if you're mirroring me, so I hesitate to use right and left. <laughs> but if that house is kind of a twisty little guy, but hopefully you've figured it out. So inhale, wipe the sweat out of your eyes. Back into that quadruped, right foot back, left foot back. Find that downward facing dog. Roll forward, now we're on the second side. So the first side for me, I had my left foot in front. So this time I'm gonna put my right foot in front and I'm twisting my hips to the left. Then I inhale, square them to the mat, push them back. Exhale, twist and find that plank. Inhale, rotate back. Exhale, twist and find that plank. Inhale, rotate back. Exhale, twist and find that plank. Last one, inhale, rotate back. Exhale, twist and find that plank. Inhale back, unwind those legs. Round yourself into that plank. Now, instead of going straight forward, we're gonna go out to the side. So I bring that knee in and back, in and back, in and back, in and back. Four and three and two and one. Knees down, wide child's pose. It got hot again, guys. It got hot. All right. Sit down. Find yourself sitting up nice and tall with those legs straight. As straight as you can, right? If you are in this position with your legs straight, but you can't sit on those sit bones, then bend your knees a little bit so that you can sit up onto those sit bones. Bring those arms forward. Inhale here and exhale, roll all the way down to your mat. Inhale here, exhale, roll all the way back up. Inhale and roll back down. Exhale. Inhale here and exhale, roll up. Keep going on your own breath. Let's go four more. Four. Three. Two, and one. Now, extend your leg, one leg so far that it lifts off the mat. Inhale here, keep it lifted as you roll down. Keep it lifted as you roll back up. Keep it lifted as you roll back down. Don't worry if you don't get all the way to that like perfect seated position. Just get as high as you can with that one leg lifted. Four more on this side. You can stay at this level or as you roll up, you can twist and try to tap your ankle and then roll back down. Or your shin. Or if you can't keep that leg straight, bend the knee and tap the knee. Last one, wherever you're at, and roll down, let that leg go all the way down, roll back up. Kind of fun, huh? It's a challenge, guys, it's a challenge. All right, there's no harm in trying. So, other side, reach that leg out so much that it lifts off the mat. Inhale, exhale, roll down and roll back up and roll back down and roll back up and roll back down 
I feel like my tone in this one is just like so nonchalant, like, I didn't just do this. I didn't just do this. And it's really like way harder than that. <laughs> Four more. Again, you could stay at that level or as you roll up, uh, try to tap that opposite foot with your opposite hand. Two more. Again, you can bend the knee if you need to. Last one, all the way up and roll back down. Inhale here, exhale, roll all the way up. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Feet flat and you can tuck your hands under your knees or over your knees. Sometimes it depends on the day. It doesn't really make a difference. I mean, I'm sure it does to some, but <laughs> you do what feels best for you. So either under the knee or over the knee. Inhale, sit up nice and tall and exhale, tuck that pelvis, push into that low back and inhale back up. Exhale, push. Inhale up and exhale, push. Inhale up and exhale, push. And inhale up and exhale push inhale up stay here or straighten those legs same idea exhale push now I'm letting go but if you have straight legs but you want to hold on to them keep holding on to them that's totally fine or bring your hand back also an option two more and lift last one tuck that pelvis so in this position my low back is a c curve right this is our c curve our seat belt is super tight and our ribs are pushing down so i'm going to make fists with my hands and then thumbs down because this is so thumbs down i guess i don't know bad bad analogy but whatever you guys get it fists together inhale here and exhale reach rib to opposite hip bone 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 let's pick it up four eight seven six five four three two one center pulse it down eight seven six five four three two one come all the way up and stretch over those legs for just a hot second we're almost there we have one more little ab challenge left and then we can stretch roll it on up tuck that pelvis find that c-curve again but this time bring your knees in. So I'm hugging my knees, keeping those shins parallel to the, to the mat, floor, ground, deck, whatever you're on. Pool, is anyone in a pool? That would be cool. If you were, I would want that video on. <laughs> be on like a paddle board or something. Oh my gosh. I gotta find me yourself a paddle board. Me self? Me yeah, I can speak English sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> enough um okay so here if this is good you can stay here if this isn't if, if you need a little bit more help you can put your hands down right and kind of give yourself some upper body support or if it's too easy you can let go all together and we're going to stretch one leg out and bring it in other leg out and bring it in again you can be here or you can be here or you can hold on and let go as you lift those legs out one more each way out and out butterfly those legs together or the feet together open those knees and sit stretching them out Sit up nice and tall, 
C curve. I got to get on like, there we go. I was like right on the crease. The C curve, find that boat. Now here, we're gonna try going both legs at the same time. You can stick to the single leg, but if you want, you can try both legs at the same time. Again, either holding onto your knees, not holding on, or giving yourself some moral support by putting your hands down. So we just have four here, reach and in. Inhale, reach, exhale, in. Inhale, reach, exhale, in. Inhale, reach, exhale, in. Now you can stay there, or I'm gonna put my hands down for this next one. We're gonna reach to the corner, pull in. Inhale, reach, pull in. I'm reaching to the corners of my mat because those obliques didn't get enough work today, right? Four, three, two, one, and done. Bottoms of your feet together, knees wide, pull yourself over into that little butterfly stretch. Also, I should have given you fair warning. You could also roll your mat up here. Um, I got some cushion <laughs> back there, so it, it doesn't feel like anything to me, but if you find like, ah, oh, I feel my tailbone or my sits bones or whatever, give yourself some more cushion. Find a blanket or um, a pillow or a towel or just roll your mat up, totally fine. Totally fine. Sit up nice and tall, stretch one leg out, flex that foot as much as you can, interlace your fingers, reach them all the way up, and if you can, put those fingers right over the bottom of your foot. Now, if you got really, really long legs or you just can't uh, quite reach the bottom of your foot, wherever you can reach is totally fine. And sit up nice and tall and switch. Reach up, even if you're not gonna go all the way up over that foot, still reach up and reach forward to come down. I happen to be one of those people that's like directly proportionate from my belly button down and my belly button to my fingertips. So this would be easy for me, even if I wasn't flexible. <laughs> that is why the sit and reach test is like not a thing. Because it totally messes with people who just have naturally have long legs. Reach it up and then both legs stretch out nice and long. Sit up nice and tall, reach up and then fold forward, hang over those legs. Like my best friend in college, we were both dancers. Her name is Megan. We could sit like this and we would be the same height on our heads. But she was like a couple inches taller than me and her feet were like way past my legs because her legs were just so much longer than mine. And even though she was as flexible as I was, she had a much harder time reaching the bottoms of her feet in this stretch than I do. So it's all about proportions, guys. And then turn yourself over, hands underneath. I don't know what's going on in my neighbor's house today. Hands underneath those shoulders, tuck those toes under, push into that downward facing dog, walk those heels out one last time. And then walk those feet to those hands, hands to those feet, hang over, drop that head, and round up one vertebra at a time. When you get halfway, push your knees over the center of your feet, push your hips over your knees, ribs over hips, shoulders over ribs, head over everything. Ta-da! Tis Pilates time, or end of Pilates time. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I hope to see you again.